The worst things teachers have said. One day in high school, this kid was in English class. The teacher was giving a lesson and he was talking to his friend. And this is what happened. I know, man, it's crazy. Yeah, no, no, I, I know. <clears throat> you done? We all know your parents died this year, but that's no excuse for your attitude, okay? Thank you. In second grade, this girl went to a Catholic school. And in religion class one day, she was sharing with her teacher how two years ago her dad had passed away. This is how it went down. Yeah, um, my dad actually passed away in his sleep two years ago. I miss him a lot. Oh, honey. You know people that die in their bed go to hell. Because dying in bed makes a person slothful. Remember that. Okay, class, next question. What? What? When this guy was eight years old, he was a very anxious kid, and he was in a new school. Well, one day, he had forgotten his homework at home, so he started to panic, and he was crying. The teacher didn't like that. This is what happened. I forgot it. I forgot it at home. I it's in a different book. I forgot it at home. Listen to me. Stop crying right Stop crying right now. Listen, if you don't stop crying, I will pull your pants down in front of the whole class. You wouldn't want that, would you? Excuse me? You'll do what? You're going to pull my pants down? I'm going home. And he ran out of the school and went straight home. That's definitely super sus. When this girl was in fifth grade, she missed a lot of school because her mom was in the hospital battling cancer. Well, one day when she was at school, one of her teachers stopped her in the hallway. And this is what she said to her. Hey, why have you been missing so much school? My mom's been in the hospital recently battling cancer, so I kind of want to be with her. Okay, well, you still need to come to school because your home life is not as important as your school life, okay? Okay, she didn't actually slap her, but what a heartless teacher. When this kid was nine years old, he was in school when his teacher asked the class what they wanted to be when they grew up. And this is what happened. Alrighty, class, so what do you want to be when you grow up? Yes, David. When I grow up, I want to be a garbage man. <sighs> really? Well, nobody in here should ever aspire to be a garbage man. Do you want to know why? Because those types of jobs are for the most unintelligent people in our society. You should try to do better. Trash people get trash jobs. Now, David, why would you want to be a garbage man? Because my dad's a garbage man. When this kid was in the first grade, his mom put a slice of cheese in his lunchbox. But by the time lunch rolled around, the cheese was kind of soggy. So he threw it away. But a teacher saw this, and this is what happened. What did he just throw away? Mm-mm-mm. Perfectly good slice of cheese. Patrick, come here. Yeah? Why did you throw this perfectly good piece of cheese away? Because it's not good anymore. It's really soggy. I don't want to eat it. You can't go outside until you eat this. You're going to eat this piece of cheese or you're spending recess with me in my room. Please don't make me eat it. Please don't make me eat it. Don't test me. When this kid was in second grade, he was sitting in his class one day kind of crying because his cat just died. His teacher noticed this. She came over to try to make him feel better. And this is what happened. My cat died last night. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry about that. I'm sure you miss him a lot. I really do. But I'll see him in heaven one day, right? Oh, sweetie, no. God never said anything about cats having souls. He's in hell and you'll never see him again. I'm sorry. 